YouTube. Redoing my trailer. Got it deconstructed. Thought I'd show you what I'm going to do and uh, how I do it. But uh, effectively, I've deconstructed it so I can show you the various bits and pieces. So, all it is is a front moped wheel, single sided suspension, and all it is is bolted three points on here after I took the stem off from the steering column. So, effectively, that's the front wheel. That's the, uh, the wheel. And you've already seen this. That is my hitch point, which still needs redoing, so I've got that to do. I'm going to re-weld that. Then the lid, which is basically a hinged lid. Fairly easy. Does the job. It's going to be redone. Uh, then we've got the main trailer itself. You can see where the wheel sits into the rear of the trailer. You've got three bolt points there, that's one of the things I'm going to be strengthening. Um, it's done 5,000 miles already, but it, it, I think it will last a lot longer if it's done. So that's that. So I've got the electrics to redo as well, which is there. And the UJ needs a little bit of work, and it all needs repainting. But that's the trailer. So what I'm going to be doing is first off is strengthening these holes. They are box section on here. And uh, what they just need is some tube putting in there and welding in, and that should be a lot stronger. Also got the indicators on a bracket, the rear light, and the number plate holder, which is also a strengthening point for the three, the three bolts that went through there. So, effectively, that's what I'm going to be doing. Looking at the trailer itself, we've got box section there and then this is tubeless steel then it's got fiberglass and it would attach to it so quite literally it's all it is is a, is a wooden fiberglass body with a uh, steel frame and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drilling out these holes and I'm going to be putting in some tube which I hope you can see there some tube and I'm going to be putting drilling out the holes sliding the tube through and then welding it all up so the box section is a lot stronger than it, it, it was originally. I built this five years ago and it needs a little bit of work, a bit of TLC now. So there we go. Right, what I've done is I've got a drill bit that's a 9mm drill bit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill through. This should be slightly smaller than the steel I'm using then I can just enlarge. Go from small and then enlarge is a lot harder to do it the other way around. <laughs> slowly enlarge the holes using larger drill bits. So as you can see I've now put the tubes in they're actually sitting in there on their own what I did is I tapered them ever so slightly and then hammered them through so they popped the metal back because the metal was slightly indented so what it's done is it's popped the metal back and what I'll do is I'll weld up smooth it off and it should be all flat and level and as it as it used to be so uh, now I've just got to weld these three bits into place and if you look underneath I don't know if you can see that if you look underneath there you go sticking out a bit there and it doesn't really matter on this side because what I'm going to do is weld them down grind it flat and it's done right as you can see I've painted the underside I've actually got my feet in place so my legs in place got my rear um, tail light in place. What we're going to do is I'm going to marry up the holes I showed you. I've already done the welding and I've flushed up the holes on both sides. Um, I've also painted the stays, uh, the cross beams and so you can see there's now a tube right down the middle. That just helps with the stru structural integrity. Um, so everything's in place. I've already done this plate here which actually class, uh, acts as a, um, 
a little bit extra strength there. It also holds the number plate and rear and um, indicators. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the wheel. As you can see, I've done the. Uh, I've got a bit of stability there, so all the weight on there. So all I've got to do is basically bolt it in. And the wheel I've already worked with. That's the wheel. I've painted it. As well as the suspension unit I've cleaned up and painted. So all I've got to do is get the bolts which I've cleaned up and put it in. I put that to one side. Right. I've got the three bolts through, I'm just keeping them in place so when I place it in, put the bolts on, strap up the wheel, then tighten it all up. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a little bit of um, silicon sealant around the bolts to protect the underside of the wheel. So I'm going to put that in, then place it all together. Hopefully it should all stay to put. go that's the one basically offer it up let the weight of it carry it down so what I'm using is lock nuts and I'll add a little bit of uh, Loctite into them as well so quite literally just proffer them up this one needs to go down slightly, pop the bolt in place, and because I can put lots of pressure now, now I'll put those tubes in. in place and then all I've got to do is get this bolt into place right as you can see a little bit of oil or something but as you can see it works pretty well hey okay, that's the first bit done um, fairly uh, significant amount of stuff to do yet. The lid, the outside of the paintwork, the UJ and the electrics, they're all to come in the future. But anyway, goodbye YouTube.